Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So, if you can't already tell, today is Art Supply Sunday. It's going to be our little intro to mechanical pencils. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to be doing a different little series on these where I kind of look at colored leads for colored pencils. So, that should be fun. Or colored leads for mechanical pencils. So here I have a couple different types of mechanical pencils, different brands, everything. This one is specifically a drawing mechanical pencil, so it's pretty cool. It's a Sakura, if you can see that. So I actually have three different sizes of pencil here. I know, I do have some dupes. Um, over here. It's okay. I have some Bix, Paper Mates, this generic brand one. <laughs> Don't really know what it's called, but yeah, as you can see, or at least I hope you can see, they have different thicknesses in their lead. It's most obvious with this buddy right here. He's got a very, very thick tip. Yes, that probably sounds a little bit dirty. I know. I know. But, yep. Those are my three different sizes. Okay. So, firstly, I'm going to start with our big guy. And his tip right here. Come on. Focus. Oh, that's not right. His tip is two millimeters, so that is a pretty big tip. And then, of course, the next biggest one is a lot smaller. This is 0 0.07, and this one is 0 0.05. So a lot of the mechanical pencils you're going to be finding are not going to be two millimeters. They're going to be probably 0 0.7. I didn't actually accidentally picked up the point, point 0.5 millimeter one, so, yeah. But anyways, they have different, different tips, and if you're used to one, like I am used to point oh seven, when you go smaller, you're probably going to break the lead a lot. <laughs> Switching over to these guys, I'm constantly breaking this lead off. It's so tiny that I'm always breaking it. The funny thing about this paper meat lead is it claims to last longer than your normal lead, but with it being so skinny and so small, I'm always breaking it, so I probably waste even more than normal with my normal breakage of them. So yeah, you should probably be careful with them. I'm not as careful as I probably should be, therefore... Lots of broken tips, but yeah. So, thing is, with these big guys, he is like a normal pencil. He's really no better. Um, tips get dull. As you can see, this buddy is pretty dull at the moment, but luckily, I actually do have this little guy. It is a tip sharpener for other mechanical pencils that I have and don't know where they are. A couple of them are broken, so there's that, but, um, this is a little, um, tip sharpener. So you use this just to sharpen the tip of the lead. Um, you can find bigger ones of these at art stores. They, they're called pencil tip sharpeners. Um, I have one from Stead Letter, I believe. It doesn't works the best, but it gets the job done. <laughs> but yeah, let me just show you how these work. Sorry, I kind of lost my tripod. I don't know where I put it. I move back in and I lose everything, right? Perfect. <laughs> So this is a little bit rambly, so I apologize. You should all be appalled. 
you just put it on the tip and you sharpen it. Um, I'm going to pause it. I don't think I'll be able to show this. I can't sharpen it with one hand. I'll be back in a second. Go from dull to sharp. Sorry, it keeps going out of focus, but yeah, there is our beautiful new tip. So yeah, you do have to extend the lead a little bit to get to sharpen it. But here, let me just test these out on the side. You'll probably see me using these guys a lot in my speed drawings and everything. So yeah. Okay, so this is the two millimeter. This guy is 0.7. That is 0.5. And now, me just sketching out these lines. Can't really tell much of a difference, but the big difference comes when you are really looking at like my rating. You can tell that this 0.5 is a little bit skinnier than the 0.7. And it's a lot skinny. Uh, both of these guys are a lot skinnier than the two. So, yeah. I'm sure you don't need me to explain this to you. And I'm sure you guys all know what a mechanical pencil is. So, I hope this has been at least somewhat educational so far. Not so boring. Um, I really want to get to drawing something with these babes. So, I will... Talk to you again in just a second. Bye!
I'm back, guys. So, this is my final piece. Um, it's just, of course, a simple little pencil sketch. If it can focus, that'd be great. Yeah. So, I just did a little pencil sketch of Roman with my little mechanical pencils. I used a lot of them and everything. I hope it was at least kind of interesting to watch. I really do enjoy using colored pen or colored pencils. I keep calling them colored pencils. What is wrong with me, guys? But yeah, I really do enjoy using mechanical pencils. I think they're swell. <laughs> they're quite they're quite a lot of fun to sketch with. I think, especially this is my favorite one to sketch with. <laughs> I find it just so comfortable, and it just it looks so beautiful. This is like the fanciest colored, or the fanciest mechanical pencil I have. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you do want thin lines with your pencils, I would definitely recommend getting mechanical pencils. Because that's the thinnest line possible you can get. You're not going to get a thinner line with just your average pencil. So... That's my little tip for you guys. So yeah, that's that'll do it for this week. Um, tune in to the next Art Supply Sunday. We'll talk about possibly pencils. Um, I still need to cut talking about our HHBs and Bs. They're wonderful. I love them all. <laughs> we got we got colored pencils. The thing I keep talking about, but we're not actually using. Um, colored leads, you know, things to sketch with. I can discuss that. Um, I really did want to do one on sketching materials. Like, a lot of people you will see use, uh, colored, like, cold erase pencils. The Prismacolor with erasers on them to sketch. Um, I definitely want to talk about pens. Pens are some of my favorite things in the world. So, yeah. <laughs> Enough of me blabbing about my favorite art supplies and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you leave a like. I hope you leave a sub. And I hope you leave a comment. <laughs> All will help. And if you really are feeling generous, share this with a friend. Why don't you? So, yeah. That'll do it. See you next time. Bye!